Las Vegas, Nevada. In a few hours, it'll be the bright lights of the city. So filled with fun and fabulous hotels. And today, host to the CBS Sports Classic inside T-Mobile Arena. Welcome to Las Vegas, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, Bill Raftery, and Jamie Erdahl will join me in just a moment. CBS Sports Classic supposed to be a doubleheader. I think all of you know that. Well, due to COVID issues, Ohio State and UCLA have shut down their programs temporarily. So what we have is a matchup we weren't expecting up until Thursday, and that's North Carolina and Kentucky. Two of the Blue Bloods in college basketball, be it Carolina Blue or Royal Blue, 14 national titles between the two. And we're set for the Tar Heels and the Wildcats next. joins me now, Bill Rafter, the Hall yeah. of Famer. We've seen some great moments between these two teams over the years. Unbelievable, because Hubert Davis, you know, played for Dean Smith, of course, coached under Roy Williams. Now I know what I did wrong. <laughs> I didn't listen to those type of guys. Well, I know what Kentucky's doing right, transfer portal this yeah, year. They sure have. Of course, uh, Cal lamenting the fact that they can't make threes, but yes, they've gone to getting older, and that's really helped their program. And this guy's been a big part. I love this kid. See what he's very talented around the rim. He's, he can step out and make a shot. He is just relentless on the glass. A little Moses Malone once in a while will throw it up <laughs> and go chase it with the best of them. He is a talented young man. Leads the nation in rebounding. On the other side, it's an inside-outside combo for Hubert Smith and his target. Uh, Khalid Love can certainly make the three this year. Really came back, established his game, can put it on the deck. And, of course, Armando Baycott, they got to get him a lot of touches inside. No question about it. Let's go to our AT&T fast analysis. Carolina the last couple years been a terrible shooting team, but they're getting hot this year. Uh, they're spreading it around. Of course, dribble drive. They're getting touches in the lane. That ability to make some shots outside off the kickouts, but also the post passing. I love the way Baycott has acknowledged people. Doesn't force the shot. Make sure he gets it outside. But how about this guy? You love him? And this kid's going to have a great career, a great feel for the game. He can make threes, really understands, put it on the deck, goes right and left, and can really find some people. Solid basketball player. CBS Sports College basketball coverage. His and before we tip, we go to the third member of our team and definitely the best shooter on our team, Jamie Erdahl. Brad, a round of devastating tornadoes tore through six states last week, with the western side of Kentucky being the most severely affected. Over 70 people were killed in those storms. John Calipari, knowing the power and outreach that Kentucky basketball had, quickly assembled a telethon for Tuesday, and after four hours, over $3 million was raised. As of Thursday, $4.5 million was the number. Calipari reminded his guys that how easily this could have affected their campus, their hometowns. He was so proud of his current players and his former players of stepping up. Guys, four and a half million dollars. That's fantastic. It sure is. And it was all hands on deck, Cal told us. Not just the basketball team, the football team. Everybody was involved. Coach Calipari in his 13th season as the head man in Lexington. Here's the lineups. Black Love, Davis, Baycott, and Garcia for North Carolina. Wheeler, Washington, Grady Brooks, and Sheepway. For Hubert Davis, his first year as a head coach after a long stint as an assistant to Roy Williams. Roy, we understand, had knee surgery. He probably would have been here about two and a half weeks ago. We hope you're doing good, Roy. Our officials, good crew, Terry Weimer, Roger Ayers, Eric Curry has got the ball in hand. And we're set for the Tar Heels and the Wildcats. North Carolina with the series lead. This the 42nd meeting of these Two blue bloods of college basketball. Two of the winningest programs in college basketball history. And it'll be North Carolina 
into the front court. And Brad Nestor right now. The ball gets go. <laughs> and we're off and running in Vegas. We are. This kid's really stepped his game up. Love to the 10. Here comes Wheeler. Bring it down to Ty Ty Washington. Normally think, we're talking about five five-star freshmen. That's not the case with Kentucky now with the transfers. But Washington is one of those guys. Well, they have guys that have to shave now. <laughs> <laughs> coach Calipari the said they, they show up on time and they know what to do. I don't know. I don't know how to coach these guys. I think they got to go inside with the touch or she with that ability to pound the glass. I like to see him challenge Baycott. Garcia on the outside, Baycott banging down low with Sheboy. He's going to have to give it up. Yeah, good job standing him up. Baseline jumper off the mark. And Wheeler will try it off the window. Look at this kid chase it though. There's his first rebound and didn't get the stick back though. Got to take Wheeler's left away, so dynamic. Feed down low, Baycott, hook, get in, did he walk? Uh, before, a little bit Push. of a nickel dimer early. Well, for Kentucky, not the normal setup, like I said. They've got something old, they've got some upperclassmen, something new. Ty Ty Washington, Damian Collins, something borrowed and everything blue. They've got nine upperclassmen. We don't normally talk about Kentucky that way. Well, Cal Sauer, he's not borrowing anything out of it. <laughs> A little back screen, a little Marcus play screen down by Baycott. He's been working on this. Oh and got God. it. Boy, every day they say, racking them up. North Carolina in the black uniforms with the Carolina blue numerals. They've only worn those uniforms once before, and that was six years ago in Brooklyn in the CBS Sports Classic. Now the big fella with his first score and a chance to make it a three-point play. And Bradley Baycott's going to see that all game, but here's stepping out. A little dribble drive, get a touch in that lane and get those puppies organized, big fella. But the other end, he's going to have a load on his hands with big Oscar. Here is Oscar Shibway, the transfer from West Virginia, averaging over 16 a game. And we showed you in the open 14.4 rebounds as tops in the nation caps off the three-point play. Boy, he's all about effort. And Wheeler with a little rag now on R.J. Davis. Now Wheeler doing a good job, and he comes up with a steal. And Wheeler with the dish. That'll make you think a little bit. Let others bring it up. Smart move. And they'll go with Caleb Love. Yeah, smart play. Oh, oh, there's a push off. Davis. Davis. He's in his head. Got to calm down a little bit. But anytime you can get into somebody like this, look at the footwork, the ball movement, the ability to finish at the rim as well. And the frustration on the other end, shoving Wheeler sure. to pick up the foul. It's like the two of us out in the evening. <laughs> a lot of discarding. Yeah, you were pushing me around last night. Inside. There's the offensive rebound, and the, he missed the dunk. Comes out to Wheeler, though. I love this kid's heart, though. Sheboy. Washington pull up. Got it. I noticed Brady didn't even look for the shot, though. John was saying, we got to get him to shoot it. Over 2,000 points. Garcia can beat you a lot of ways. Step out. Here's a little back screen, get him to the block. They're trying to get him down low here. He's got a little hook game, step back. Nice shot. Austin Garcia's first basket. He and Manic are a nice little combo, aren't they? Yeah. Manic will see, can shoot it, can post up as well. Ooh, Washington almost slips. Wheeler, once again, going left. Gets it back with seven on the shot clock. And again with a left hand off the window. Well, you've got to jump on that arm. Goodness. Xavier Wheeler. It's Kentucky a five-point lead. Top and about to come in, too. Can really run the floor. Here's Garcia on the drive off the back of the iron. Baycock couldn't handle it. Washington the kick out. And 
that's, that's going to be basket interference. He should have passed the ball, actually. Oscar right in the middle. She, boy, you got to give it to him. Nice little lead pass, and this is the end of it. Could that an easy deuce, easy call. <laughs> Grady said, I had it, just leave it alone. <laughs> A little one-man backcourt pressure applied by Ty Ty Washington. Well, he is long, isn't he? He is. Ty Ty. And have a great future. Smooth. Baker almost Ooh. lost the handle and found it. Oh, bad gamble. Turn him in. That sellout leads the big fella to the rim. Wheeler, left hand, right side, six for Wheeler. Mixing this game up. Still got to take the left out. I know we can go that way. Here's the load up. They get the mismatch. Garcia slipped. Wheeler fouled him. With 15 26 remaining first half. Xavier Wheeler, the transfer from Georgia, in a different color uniform than a year ago. And looking very, very good early. To Kentucky, 11-6. Sadio Wheeler's been the reason. Didn't have a very good game at all against Notre Dame in their most recent game, a four-point loss. John Calipari sat him down and said, we know you're better than that. Go play your game. He's played really well here in the first five minutes. How's my scouting report, though? Not too good. Sheepway has had a lot of touches on the low block. Baycott's got one foul. He's got to move Sheepway up. Get him ball screens. Nice. Like that? Yep, exactly. Pretty good and lead. Sheepway with another rebound. Nice piece of officiating, too. Straight up and down. Topping in the lineup for the first time. He can run the floor. A very athletic kid. Going to take the shot. Missed his opener. Look at this guy. Another rebound. Oh, so dangerous on a kick out three. He's got five boards wrapped already. <laughs> he gets five at breakfast. <laughs> Told his teammates he wanted to average 20 a game before the season started. They said, Are you crazy? Well, he's close to 15. He's off to a great start here. Uh, two teams with great balance, though. Not giving up easy opportunities. Mintz can drill him outside. This is where he's tough. That Washington game. and our runner. Now let's see how Davis acts without Wheeler in his head and his trunks. <laughs> you name it. Davis very good keeping the dribble alive, too. Can turn, get a piece of the lane, opens up shooters. Baycott faces Sheboy, and now the drive, and the spin, and the hook. Pretty. Everything but. Everybody, everything but the finish. Yeah. That chest helped by Big Oscar. He's going to try one from the outside. It's not his game, but he has stepped out, maybe 10, 12 feet. See if they get love going with an early double here. He'll pull up. Sheboy didn't get that rebound, but he tipped it to Grady. Well, Grady's not ready to shoot. Three goes. Yeah, so I'm doing it at Creighton. Uh, bringing it to Lexington. He's almost your age, by the way. Got around a few. <laughs> so Mintz with the first three of the ball game. Empty side here. I know Garcia can make the three, so they're going to really stay at home on him. Davis off the mark. Sheboy says it's fine. <laughs> He's right. Seven rebounds for Oscar. He might get 20 by the half. He could. There you, there you go. You called it, man. Grady, big score at Davidson. Great job replacing, creating a passing lane. He's got a gorgeous stroke. John was adamant about him shooting the ball. He said if you can score 2,000 to Davidson, why can't you score here? Sheboy, I thought it was a jump ball. I did too, but Sheboy gets tagged for the foul. But it was great footwork with the drop step. And we mentioned unable to convert in that low, set, the low post area. But this little replace here sends it up. Uh, Mince, we 
Beautiful looking stroke. We'll get to it here somehow. And then Grady uh, from the baseline. Nice little movement by pre presenting yourself. Love has not gotten off the schneid here. Well, See if he can with three. No. Vincent Garcia really tagging one another. Wheeler back in the lineup. Whoa, collision between Love and Mintz. And Loki is trying to push it up, get some early looks before the defense gets set. Manic on the floor now really opens things up, but this is just a, trying to jump the passing lane. Mintz kind of rubbing his shoulder after that collision. And an inadvertent tag. He took a jolt. You're right, he's moving his arm a little bit. Yep. Nice piece of the Roger Ayers. Give him a little extra time. Topping on the spin over Garcia. Okay. Got his own miss and drew the foul. And did a nice job collapsing the defense. He's setting up a pin down on the other side. Wednesday, January 5th, watch the premiere of CBS's new family medical drama, Good Sam, starring Sophia Bush and Jason Isaacs. Good Sam, Wednesday, January 5th on CBS. And top of this four games, a little bit of an injury, shoulder injury. That's set him back a little bit. Yeah, good floater, good defense. Brady getting a breather. Hopkins comes in for him. Second and two for Toppin. Got them both. You know, Cal's had a lot of wins in this town. The Olympic fantasy camp. He's coached here. <laughs> yeah. he even won that. I thought you were talking about the crap stamp. <laughs> <laughs> He's had 791 wins. We know that much. Here's Manic, the transfer from Oklahoma. Missed out of three. He's a really good three-point shooter. Doesn't need much space here. Well, this kid can go wire to wire. Wheeler got stripped that time, though. Still comes free to the Cats, and Mintz will try another triple. But they are hustling now. Spock, yeah. Trying to go both directions at once. Well, he is quick. He is. Wheeler had both wheels going in the wrong direction there. <laughs> 11.36 remaining in the first half. It's been Kentucky's half so far. Dress professionally casual, I would say today. Cal had a plan to wear a sport coat today because Chris Holtman wears sport coats. But then he found out Hubert Davis dresses like this, so we wanted to match him. <laughs> well, what happened, though, is Brad Calipari, Cal's son on his staff, is now he's mad because he got a new suit made for this game. He was all excited, so I said, Coach, probably a save for a holiday party or something. There you go. Perfect time of year. He's ready That's for New Year's. Great. great stuff. Nice pass. Big out. Almost the bounce. Six for Armando Baycott. Harris on the floor. Anytime you get heads turned by putting it in the lane, they're very tough to defend. Wheeler, who averages seven assists, he's been attacking. Well, the SEC in assists last year in Georgia uniform. Set the single season record. Here he is with the ball in hand. Shot clock at one. They got it away. Tip the side of the backboard. We we'll get another attempt. Not a third. They caught with a rebound. Collins long lean. And a big time prospect. Great vertical. Nice Wheeler tried triple. to steal it underneath. He's triple team. Yeah. Trying to go back inside to Garcia. They turn it over. Give it up. Hopkins on the flush. Cal said we're going to see a little bit more of him. He can make some trees. It's up and down the floor. Two times Chicago player of the year out of Oak Park, Illinois. Who's out of finish, too? Look at and this. Wheeler with a steal. And the layup. He's got eight. Well, he is tough, isn't he? What a difference when he plays like this. And the lead swells to 23 to 8. Nice entry. A little reach in by Hopkins. 
Caroline does a great job ducking in, but this kid, a relentless, both ends of the floor, puts pressure on you, squeezes through those little tiny spots, but uh, defensively, just doing a terrific job, giving it up early, why not? Send it in, big fella. Santa. They got Powers inside, drew the foul. They had wear on him. He's got great footwork down low. I think the next level, he's going to be a forward. You think? Yeah, he's, he can make that 15, 17 footer working on the, the three from deep, but his footwork is flawless in here. He knows how to ride the body. Gets his hips on the opponent's hips. A little spin. Not a great free throw shooter. We'll see how he does here. Three of 42 now. Tar Heels last year to this. Big difference on their three point shooting. And offensive rebounds. Well, if you make those shots, you don't need so many. That's, that's right. Rebounds. You don't have to chase it. But he was very engaging yesterday, wasn't Hubert, he? Oh, yes, he was. And a great personality. He's played with the Nets amongst many teams in the NBA. Played for Dean Smith yeah. at Carolina. One of five alumni has made that got the second free throw. Professor Sanka was a pretty good player, right? Mm -hmm. Walter. That guy's been quiet. Wheeler, a pull up from 18, off the mark by a bunch. He's trying to beat him by himself. RJ Davis in some traffic. Got it to Baycott, though. Up and under. The head's turn when you put the ball on the deck. Protect that rim. Washington had it stripped. Comes free to Brooks, and he buried it. That's the guy that want to step up. Older, been around. Comfortable. Can make a three. Pretty good with a floater as well. First basket for Keon. 14 point advantage as we're approaching eight and a half minutes first half. Where on the floor. I love the way he works too. Nice compliment to Oscar. Six on the shot clock. A runner by Davis. I think he was trying to draw the foul from Wheeler. Didn't get it and didn't get the basket either. Go side to side, making the D work. Deep three for got Washington. It. Got it. Boy, what a stroke. That was right. We were right behind that. And when he let it go, you knew it was going in. Really plays within himself. They got trying to power one in there. Drew the foul. Might be Washington on the reach in. Tie tie. Tonight, 9 Eastern, Road to the NF, uh, Final Four continues on CBS Sports Network. 13th ranked Auburn squaring off against St. Louis. That's tonight at 9. They got back to the free throw line. And now he's stroking it. A little trivia question for you, Raft. Only two schools with a winning record against Kentucky. Minimum of five matchups. I know it wasn't my Seton Hall team. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ohio State. North Carolina's won. St. Louis, who plays tonight on CBS Sports okay. Network, the other one. Wow. And he got them both. Like the way he cuts, too. Nice little pace to his game. North Carolina is the only team that has 10 wins and a winning record against Kentucky. A lot of people can say they own the series against the Wildcats. Wheeler, nice pass. Nice pass down to where if he can get a shot away. He's going to draw the two. foul. Took number two on Baycott. That is two on Baycott. With 7.36 remaining first half. Then all Kentucky in the first half.
Game summary 31 percent is not going to cut it for North Carolina. Baycott's playing well, but the problem is he's got 11 and they only have 13 as a team. And this guy on the boards early was unbelievable. He's just amazing. The work habits, he is so relentless. 20 rebounds against Duke. That chases everything. He's got a great sense of timing. He can wedge his way on weak side rebounds, anticipating where it's coming off. Uh, just good footwork, becoming a little better of an offensive player, 10 or 15 feet away. And he's got a great smile, by the way. We could both learn from that. There you go. Moved to the U.S. when he was 16. Hadn't seen his family in a long time until recently. Oscar Shibley, the leading rebounder in the country, showing us why in the first about six minutes of this game. Where at the free throw line for Kentucky? One of those kids that can run the floor, good offensive rebounder, strong kid. I came to New Jersey. Give New Jersey a little plug here, huh? There you go. Just up there last weekend for Army Navy. Great kid, great atmosphere. That was awesome. Always is. Davis got free of Wheeler for just a second, and that left the man open, but the three's off the mark, and Ware's got the rebound. And yeah, enough air on that one. Maliki. Baseline jumper won't go. Bad hustle. hustle rebound. Good hustle by Washington. Who's out of bounds? Kentucky turns it over. I've seen more of that this year than ever. Guys catching the ball out of bounds, or even with a step back. There's that foot on the line. Gotta make the court bigger. Yeah. <laughs> or smaller <laughs> shoes. Exactly. <laughs> Garcia has not been an offensive presence. Nope, open middle now. A lot of shooters on the floor. And a little nickel dime on the low post. I think Brooks gets tagged. Yep. It'll be Brooks' first foul working against Garcia. Well, they accentuate that this year. They're going to call the first foul. So Garcia is going to go to the free throw line. One and one. John not happy saying he had the on bar. Garcia played his first year at Marquette before the transfer to Chapel Hill. He had a great game at Carolina when he was at Marquette. Yeah. Uh, He's the only guy in history that's had 20 plus against Carolina and 20 plus with Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> that's the transfer deal these days. It is wild. What, over 1,500, if I'm not mistaken? Something like that. And the lefty from Prior Lake, Minnesota, buries both. He's got four. No high-low action. We're shaping up. Wheeler on a weave on the outside. Outside jumper won't go. Came back out to Wheeler behind the back. He and Washington, a little two-man action, and now Brooks from the outside. A great look. What a nice play. It must have been so solid. Well, they are moving the ball, though. Sure are. It was a runner, no foul called there. Washington got it back, and for 15, he buried it. Too many opportunities. That's for sure. A little slow to react. Rap Baycott's got 11, Garcia's got four. There's your 15 points for North Carolina. Somebody else has to contribute here. No question. And Manic and Garcia. And this kid getting to the lane really helps though, Davis. And Davis hits the deck. And it's going to be a foul on where? Uh, running down shots. Goodness. That's the ability to get in the lane, get a good shot. Everybody looking. Manic does a nice job checking out, but all of a sudden they get an open look by Washington. R.J. Davis, one of the captains of the team at the free throw line. Now this is not a, they can post over. This is more of a five out kind of a lineup for yeah. Carolina. This should help Davis get in the lane and be creative and some kick out threes. There's the first point from somebody that isn't a big guy underneath for Carolina. Baycott coming back in. Maddock goes out. Davis averaging 13 a game. His first two 
of the game in the first two from a back court or a wing play. And gambling with Baycott because they don't really have a post-up guy now. And he should be able to stay away from contact. And the other end, they got to give it to him, too. He's on the floor. Take advantage. Seven on the shot clock. Wheeler around a pick. Gets it back. Three-pointer won't go. For Brooks. Collins, I think, over the back. Wednesday, January 5th, the longest pit stop in amazing race history is finally over. New teams are back racing around the world for a million dollars. Join host Bill Kogan for the season premiere of Amazing Race, Wednesday, January 5th on CBS. It's a story of Bill Raftery's life, an amazing race. <laughs> I have been richly rewarded, no question. Oh, a little couple guys shot it in the face there on the rebound. Tough way to get a shave, really. <laughs> Carolina's out of sync, though, don't you think? Yeah, they are. They're not a real flow, not getting opportunities to get runouts. This has been their only bright spot, and Baycott missed the free throw. He's got his guys playing much better defense. That was a quick trigger by Washington. The guys won't even set the offensive rebound. Love is the leading scorer for Carolina, and he has a zero in the scoreboard right now. And it's tagging in pretty good. Tough Davis. Tie. Really tough. Whew. Wheeler will take the shot from the outside. Oh. And Javier Wheeler is in double figures. And nobody home, just double high. Uber wants that timeout. Didn't like the looks of that at all. And Wheeler gets a pair of high fives from John Calipari after that jumper. A little nylon. He's doing a lot out there, the little guy with the big time ticker. Out of Houston via Georgia. Stop and play because I think maybe that shot to the jaw may have been Davis. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a little bloody nose, I think, going on for RJ. So that halts play for a second here, and he'll take a breather. Got a little residue left on the floor. Boy, Sean May doing double duty, assistant coach, and clean it up. <laughs> yeah, they'll be happy about him. They got a scrape there. He, like Wheeler, is the key to this team, too. You know, how they get organized, get this team into the flow. And Wheeler's had the best of that battle today, so far. First time for the court here. the point with Davis over there with the bloody nose. And the baseline rubs. A little high-low action here. They cut the duck in. Garcia nice had it stripped. Wheeler. And now Wheeler with a left hand in the window. 12 for Xavier Wheeler. They're giving it up early. Boy, the cats are out. Great defense. Giving the ball up. Woo! Biggest lead of the ball game. 4-18 remaining in the half. It's been a, a Wheeler show for the Wildcats. Up 18. Well, Savio Wheeler has been great both offensively and defensively in the first half of this game. Jamie, I know you spent some time with him this week. Yeah, he's been an absolute motor for Kentucky in the first half. Something that John Calipari has been preaching to this team so far this season is play so hard that you have to take yourself out of the game. And Samir Wheeler did that earlier in the half when he was getting in the press defense in the backcourt. And he took himself out, got right back in after taking a blow. But he is giving an all-out effort today. Yeah, the beginning of the year, John Calipari didn't think he was in good enough shape. He says, you can't play 35 minutes he said I'll show you I can play 35 minutes so he worked on it and now he's playing about 33 minutes I wouldn't bet against this kid I wouldn't either the only bad thing only one assist he's off his game but he's got three steals yeah well he's got 12 points so he's assisting himself and plus also keeping guys in front of him not turning the corner automatic switch here just can't get touches in the lane all perimeter oriented. 
We talked about their three-point shooting. They haven't hit one yet. Love still hasn't scored, and he still hasn't scored. Garcia keeps it alive, though, and it's flooded out of there by Ware. How about that? Beware, the big fella. Wow. Looming large. You think you got an easy one? You got a pump fake against Kentucky. Get him up in the air, get a piece of the chest. And Garcia, goodness. Batted that one into the second row. Back wow. to Minnesota. <laughs> Take it back to Prior Lake with you. Under four and a half to replace. Once again, stuck deep. Under five. Four to shoot. Davis is going to have to get it up there over Wheeler. And he got the roll and the bounce off the back of the rim. Well, he left to work against Wheeler. Is he really going to get back in it if you're Carolina? Stops and rebound. Drop step. Nice move by Toppin, and Garcia picks up his third foul. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Adam Clark and Seth will get you caught up on all the scores and highlights of busy Saturday of college hoops. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. It would have been an even busier Saturday of college hoops had there not been so many cancellations due to COVID, including one here where Ohio State and UCLA were to have been in this CBS Classic as a doubleheader. And neither are here, and so we've got Kentucky and Carolina. Kentucky would have been playing Ohio State. Carolina would have been playing UCLA. Of course, of course, of course the sports landscape, it's incredible, isn't it? It sure is. Coaches, players, teams, leagues. Even at the Premier League, thinking about pausing. Almost 25 teams just this weekend, not to mention the National Football League backing up the schedule to Monday, in some cases Tuesday, in some cases for games this coming week, and that makes for a really short week when you've got to play again the following Sunday. So here's Maddock off the window. Good knock call, too. A nice job of pinned down, made himself available, and when you can shoot it, it does enable you to get to the trim. Maddock's first basket of the afternoon. I didn't tag, got there late. Vince got his man in the air, but then he lost the handle. Was he fouled? Yeah. Yes, he was. Reach in that time by Love. I like this little, they didn't call a flop, but uh, this smart refereeing. So Mintz will go to the free throw line. Another transfer by Creighton. So he has his degree in kinesiology and health promotion. You mentioned Wheeler, uh, 32 minutes a game he gives him too. Yep. Not much of a blow. Shot his Shibway on the bench too with the two fouls. Might as well save him. And he got control of the game like this. I mentioned earlier Garcia had three fouls. He only has two. Just wanted to correct that. They do have Baycott with two, Garcia with two, Love's got two. And we're almost down to two in the first half. 17 point Kentucky lead. Nice slip. Baycott. Good call, too. That was still moving. With Foul that, on Mintz. That middle ball screen is so hard to defend. If you, if you help from the wing, all of a sudden you got to kick out open three. Nice drop by Baycott, and then he dropped the defender. And he'll go to the free throw line. He's going to get the line a lot. He's going to start working on this part. I'm sure he works on it. He'll become a little more confident. He missed the first and hit three in a row, and missed another one. So he's four out of six right now from the free throw line. Yeah, we're at about 56 percent. This is the way. Hubert shot the ball. I'm sure he spent a lot of time with this stroke. There you go. Hubert saw the light, though. Got out of the TV business into coaching. Mm -hmm. A little more rewarding. It's been rewarding for you going the other way. <laughs> well, different strokes. <laughs> different reasons. Davis. Baycott, offensive board and the score. And he ran the floor to get in position to dominate. 
And that cuts into the Kentucky lead a little bit with 145 to go in the half. It gives you a little more confidence closing out here. Toppin against Manic. They got away with it, I thought. And Manic saying, I didn't touch it. He just lost it. Manic looking for some help. Jerry Weimer looking at us. <laughs> uh, uh, just a big guy getting down, being in position to do a lot of damage. That's good basketball. Heady play. He is very mobile. North Carolina felt they got the raw end of that deal. Thought that it should have been a turnover. I thought Manic Toppin. actually fouled, though, didn't you? I wanted to see it again, but it's not going to matter. They've got it now. Baycott, nice spin inside. And the work against Ware. How about that footwork? That is magical. A double spin. It must be the shoes, the pinkies. The pink shoes are doing it. Cutting the lead down to 11. Wheeler. Outside jump. He's been, what a half. He's been on fire inside, outside, on defense. And that quiets the Carolina crowd that's in here. A mostly Kentucky crowd. They would travel to the moon to watch this team play. There it is. Kentucky basketball. Great foul. <laughs> it was incredible. Nice, nice cut. cut. Pretty. A big cut. I tell you, this kid can pass the basketball. All of a sudden, there's a lot of life. You've been moving around pretty good on the sideline. Black, Leaky Black, just leaked in there with no defender on him. Kentucky wants a timeout. So the big guy that we talked about, Armando Baycott in the open, that Raph said can do it all, and he's showing us that very versatility. How Great dish you? underneath. Great feel for the game. Chris, the spin move earlier. Wow, look at this. No quarters left. Whew, big time. Raft, an 18-point lead, has been cut to 11. All of a sudden, North Carolina got their wake-up call. Uh, Showing a little more personality, a little more aggressive play. And Baycott, in particular, the guy leading the cause, really has done some nice things for this club. Right now, you've got to think stop and rebound if you're Carolina. And obviously, a late stroke and maybe a chance to follow up for Kentucky. John Calipari taking that time out, saying we're going to make this 20 seconds work and let's get a basket and get a little bit more momentum that we had going before we head to the locker room. I think it's got to go through Wheeler at some point. Here he is, Wheeler with nine to shoot. 11 on the game clock. Tried that left-handed dish. Time, plenty of time. Manic doesn't have to panic, but he's got to get rid of it now. And Wheeler knocks the ball away with 1.1 remaining. The kid's incredible. Well, he got off the deck down there because he <laughs> fell down on the drive. <laughs> so it doesn't give up on a play. Look at him jumping in here. Just terrific read. Doing a little refereeing as well. See if Carolina can get a shot. Just 1.1. Black trying to get it in. Mannix, a pretty good guy to get it to. A little bit short. He was on line, but just short. So a late surge by the Tar Heels. They've made this one interesting, at least at halftime. Showing a little life, right? Yep. They were down 35 to 17 at one point. But now they go to the locker room, trailing by 11. John Calipari's with Jamie. Coach. Brad Nessler. Uh-oh. <laughs> what, what do you want to tell him? What do you want to tell him? That that bee's a good man. I don't know about Raph, but he's a good man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I agree with that. But what oh. happened in the last 90 seconds there, Coach, that bothered your guys a little bit? Well, they're going to make runs. Yeah. They're a team that can really shoot. And what really we couldn't guard at all were foul shots. We tried to guard them, <laughs> but we could not guard 25 free throws. How happy are you with Severe Wheeler's motor in the first half? Well, what I told him is lead. Forget how you're playing, lead. If you miss shots, lead. If you make shots, lead. Be disruptive defensively. He kind of got away from that. He had some issue stuff, and we're, he's a great kid. And I, this team's, they're good. But how about we're hanging in without our best player? Out. So we'll see what happens now. I thought Lance was great. Fought like heck. Th thanks, Coach. Thank you. <laughs> okay. 40 to 29, our halftime score. Let's send it over to Zook and the guys in our New York studio, fellas. 
Brad Nessler. <laughs> Brad Nessler. <laughs> Carolina blue and the royal blue of Kentucky is a state farm. First half statistics, 40-29. Baycott had a sensational half for North Carolina, but as we welcome you back to T-Mobile Arena, Brad Nessler, Bill Raftery, Jamie's courtside. You know, they average, they have five guys averaging in double figures. Somebody step up and help Baycott for Carolina. Uh, absolutely. They're really not getting any dribble drive and creating opportunities with kick out threes, but Baycott has been just sensational. Yeah, he has. Or extraordinary. Get him a few more touches, maybe. Maybe. Let's check in with Jamie. Hubert Davis just told me in that first 15 minutes for North Carolina, there was no will, no one to, no toughness. He said the final five minutes, this guy's finally figured out that if you get a rebound and get going the other direction, things start to go your way. I asked him 0 for 6 from long range. He said, to a matter of fact, that will change in the second half. That will change. Well, they came in at 41%, and that 0 for 6 was not good, but this guy was good from start finish in the first half. You love to dance here. When in Vegas, right? Uh, the ability to move those puppies around and aggressive <laughs> on the glass as well. Uh, just really solid. Because now you see Oscar back in here. We'll see if he can move out just a little bit and put it on the deck and maybe blow by the big fella. So the 8-2 and two Tar Heels, 7-2 and two Wildcats. Second half underway. I think Davis is the key for Carolina, too get them started on the offensive end. There goes a three. It changed just like Jamie said it would and Hubert said it would. Well, he's got to shoot the ball. I mean, this kid is a talented guy. Only two shots. He's like at least a double-figure shooter. Nice slip. Extra step. Finding the guy in the open spot and getting available. That's the key thing. He's done this twice now. Get him organized. Just love his stroke. I love that little back screen of the ball screener. Steps. Wheeler in some traffic. He just stepped into no man's land and somehow came out smelling like a rose on the other side. And uh, he did. Establish that pivot foot, though. And he might have picked up a foul in route. And he got back a little left, but this is just good poise under fire. I may have dragged a little bit, but wise <laughs> little move. He is clever, isn't he? Yes. He said, about, well, I, I'd have nowhere to go, so I'm going that way. All the big guys cleared out. He just matched his season high, and we still got 19 minutes to play. 16 points for Wheeler. This guy averaging 16, and... That's his first. Yeah, you got to get him going. And a talented kid. Good, really good feel for the game. Good understanding. It's in that lane. Hits that floater. Hubert Davis was so complimentary of Kevin Love, and he said, on the court, off the court, everything he's done this year, great improvement from last year, and uh, they're going to need him here in the second half if they're going to make this a game. What was he saying when the young man came in and said, I'm coming back to Carolina? Yep. He went down to the coach and said, we got our first great recruit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ones you keep are almost as well as better than the ones you get, right? <laughs> if you can hard, keep them. That's the hard part. Will you love me in June like <laughs> you did in September? <laughs> they got short on the hook, but Garcia's in the right spot, and Shibway just picked up a foul, number three. Uh, nice job by Garcia, carving out some space on the weak side, but pretty good defense. That was good, that wasn't. Pretty imposing. So they were hoping to go a lot farther into the second half without him picking up his third foul, but that's the way it is. Yeah, Shibway really a kid who can do some Nice things on that defensive end, and you know Garcia, talented kid. We mentioned about his abilities to make threes. Does have a post. Look at going right this Wheeler time. with a blow by. I know wow. he can go right, but still, I'd like to take that left away. He is a speed. Fucking it up here. Love. Wheeler, a dish. Ooh. Up in the finish. Whoa. Topping it off. Big time with the run. This is not how North Carolina wanted to start the second half. That'll help a little bit Love with his first field goal. And got himself free using that ball screen out high. Way. 
misses the basket. Five on the shot clock. Little footwork. Left hand is short. Trying to use Wheeler with those bumps. Baycott bouncing shoulders with Shibuya. Back outside. Corner three for Davis. They kind of did a really nice job. Almost come up with that offensive rebound. Yep. Slipped in between. Trying to ice it one way. Wheeler. <laughs> uh oh. I think he got a little uh, Willie Moscone uh, spin on that. That's right. Wheeling and dealing. Good city to do that in. <laughs> He's got 20. Garcia backing in. Strong move with the left hand. Baycott keeps it alive. Second tip. Much more aggressive though. Kibway leads the break. Mintz nice feeds it right back to him. How unselfish. Boy, at the peak of the jump. Great vision and Oscar Shibway running the floor. Carolina made their push at the end of the first half, and Kentucky's decided to push back in the first four minutes of the second half. Uh, run the floor, you get rewarded. Not only rebounds and competes, but just a solid play. How about this? A little scoop to the hoop. Fred Nessler, big finish. Kentucky has matched its biggest lead of the ball game of 18, 53, 35. This holiday season, you can help people affected by tornadoes in the South and the Midwest. Your donation enables the Red Cross to prepare for, respond to, and to help people recover from these disasters. You can also help save lives by giving blood while the supply is dangerously low. Go to redcross.org slash CBS and sign up to donate blood, time, or money. Whatever you can give might make Christmas just a little bit easy, easier for all those people and our hearts go out to you. Last week as a result of CBS Sports Classic Blood Drive, by the way, the campuses in Chapel Hill and Lexington contributed to the collection of nearly 400 donations. So keep them coming, folks. Uh, Jamie mentioned the players helping out. How about some of the old timers? You mentioned Boone, Devin Booker. Yeah. I believe Carly Steins is Julius Randall. And then Chris Holtman made a big donation too because yes, he's exactly. from Kentucky. He is, and he would have been here yeah. had it not been for the COVID situation for Ohio State. Malik Monk, another, by the way. Malik, how about his game? How about here? the game? That was five years ago. You believe that? If you if you don't know what we're talking about, folks, we had a game in the classic between these two teams, and it was unbelievable. 103, 100. Malik Monk had 47 points. Justin Jackson had like 35 or something like that. Right, right here. Right. There's Manning. You've been waiting for him to yeah. come and do some damage from the outside. He does it from the inside. That's one thing he can do. He can move inside, post up, beg for the ball, can step outside. The other guy was the Aaron Fox had a big game. Yes, he did. 24 and 10 assists. It was so fun. That's one of the funnest games I think they've ever done. It was incredible. Wheeler, they're actually starting to try to double team him. He's been that big of a pain. <laughs> Gee, boy. Uh, you'll pay if you double him, though. You'll find somebody. That's when the assists pop up. Yep. I'd like to see Manic inside again because of the matchup physically. Well, there he is. I gotta he catch couldn't it. handle the ball, though. Tough luck. Oscar Sheboy doing his thing on the outside. Can't wait to see that. Jamie Erdahl. We didn't see the star freshman guard for Kentucky, Ty Ty Washington, start the second half. He injured his right hand sometime in the first half of this game. He had the right two fingers taped up. He was flexing it a lot in that last time out. The team tells me he is available to play. He may go back in. They're going to keep evaluating him, but he keeps tending to it as if it's bothering him a good amount. All right, Jamie, thanks. First Arizona native to play for Kentucky. Favorite player is Devin Booker. That's not a bad guy to How enjoy. about that, huh? <laughs> uh, used to Former come off those Kentucky screens. Great. Hero and other guys used to come off those bumps. He will have a good year. Hopefully he'll be healthy. Ta-ta. Jimmy Dykes said he should have been called win-win. So <laughs> that was a great line. It's better than lose-lose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
Little weave on the top. Wheeler, that left hand is short this time, but he drew a foul. He really puts pressure on that defense, though. Oof. The big guys. Rebounds were early for Shibwe before he got in foul trouble. He had seven rebounds in like the first five minutes. Absolutely. The and Baycott has been sensational. He's gotten opportunities. Again, the inability maybe to make shots, revealing himself with Carolina. Javier Wheeler hasn't been to the free throw line until now, and he buries it for his 21st point. You think this is the best game? You've seen him at Georgia. I've seen him play time. a lot at Georgia, and this is his good I think as I've seen him so he's doing everything John Calipari asked in this game and then some we might be looking at a career high if he keeps playing like he's playing right now well, he has 27 he wears you like a suit too he does <laughs> nice dive and pass Ooh, but he got hit too Baycott's got 19 when he come that drive comes the step up just opens up things for the big Is the Booker play that baseline fade or curl? Mintz rolls one into Shibwe against Baycott. The big guys. Nice fade. Oh, man. How about that? A little lingerie on the deck. If at first or second you don't <laughs> succeed, get a third one. <laughs> oh, we have seen some footwork, as you say, with the puppies. Mm. Those two guys today. But a lot of work. Become that efficient. There's a little back screen, a little late entry, though. Jumper from the free throw line for Davis. They need a lot out of him, I think. Not only today, the rest of the season. Mitts for three. They went under. Strong rebound. It's like a turnover the way Wheeler forced him. Wow, nice lead pass. And a block by Baycott on the other end. What an effort. Everybody going about 90 miles an hour right now. Wheeler says, let's take a breather for a second, set something up. I think Cal had an influence on the <laughs> side, by the way. Put up the stop sign. Chibway got the outside jumper. Soft. Feathering delivery. 20 point lead again. He's becoming a load, isn't he? He is. In or out. He can stay out of foul trouble. He's going to be a load against everybody they play. Nice drive by RJ Davis. More like him. Vince. They got down court in a hurry. He drew the foul. I didn't really have to. Manic was there. And right now. Whatever you need, the big fella. And just dominating that low box area. This is just this is one I like. Yeah. Well, you were always into dancing. One, two, boom, three. Amazing. Get one, the two, janitor. Three. One, two, three. Pick up the one, lingerie. Vince <laughs> <laughs> at the free throw line. He's two for two so far today. Five for him all in the first half. But well, Bruce, you got to come ready to play, though. First half, Carolina wasn't ready. Second no. half, they make a little run at the end of the half. But second half came out lethargic, not really into it. Except that guy. Yeah. He's in a nice performance. Vince, oh. the Charlotte native. Second free throw off the mark. Wheeler <laughs> keeps it alive. Why not? Absolutely. Kicks it outside, three-pointer. Yes. That's where he is terrific. All the heads turn. He gets himself organized. 31. Tell it, Brady. Oh, Tell it. His points are from outside the arc. Manic. There you go. Yeah, that's what he did so well at Oklahoma before transferring. That's his 254th career three for a guy that's almost 6'10". Amazing, isn't it? 
He's playing with a lot more joy, I think. And watching him last year, uh, just developed that inside. Look at the cross step. <laughs> oh, come on, up here. Oh, my goodness. He is putting the show on. <laughs> and what a talent to put a show on. No kidding. Here he comes again. This time had it knocked out of bounds and out of his hands. It'll be Kentucky ball. Well, you saw him in Georgia. He's put the show on in Vegas. Stands you up with that hesitation. A little massage job at the rim, having a ball in Vegas. Kentucky fan, you made the trip to Vegas. You're happy right now with 11 and a half minutes to go. Your team up 67 to 46. Now, we've been wowed by Wheeler, but how about the rebounding? of Kentucky and then they lead the USA in margin right rebound margin 33 Over. to 19 today a 16 plus rebounding advantage on the year tops in the country is rap set well when you get a guy like it's 15 to 18 <laughs> right. to 9, that's a pretty good start Ty Ty Washington is back Jamie said he would be back despite the taped fingers on his shooting hand Trying to get she right to the low box area. A little high low. He's asking for it. Garcia trying to front him. Oh, don't leave this kid. Oh boy. Good. It's that ball screen. You go under. You pay a big price. That is his 22nd three of the year and shoots about 40%. All his points have come from three-point land so far here today. But they're communicating great on this end. He can make that shot, though. That's not a bad shot for them. There was not even a dark jersey in the no. near that rebound off that missed shot. That's a forwards game for Carolina right now. Lob underneath for the foul on Garcia. Now, the ability to shoot is something. You see this little ball screen. You go under. Say good night, sweetheart. Nyla, deep. Hubert Davis said about Grady, said he's not just a shooter, he's a player. Today he's just been a shooter, but he's done some other things that go unnoticed, I guess, but he's got that three-stroke working. He sure does, and he's not a bad defender in watching him today. Look at the big... Oh, he's feeling it from right there. Oh, Cal, you're miscasting this kid. <laughs> you got to set some ball screens for the big fella. He's got five field goals in the second half. And the lead continues to swell. Ooh. Harris with a long step. Got it. Anthony Harris, first field goal. Trying to get a little more minutes here. Up to nine minutes a game. Midway point of the second half. Kentucky in control. Sheboy against Baycott drew the foul. They reached in instead of being big. Big guy. We've seen so many good things he does inside. He's a good screener. Make sure he stands still. And it's a nice little touch, though. Yep. I mean, you can see he's worked on that. Well, he knocked that one down, so he should be able to knock this one down as he goes to the free throw line. Same spot. He just hit the field goal. There's his numbers, a double-double again. That's his eighth double-double of the year. Guarding him, you need double-doubles <laughs> after the game. <laughs> he didn't take those shots away. <laughs> and some aspirin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he didn't shoot them that deep at West Virginia, as I recall. We're in that number 34 because Hakeem Olajuwon is his favorite player of all time. Mm. It's not a bad one, too. He's got the shake, too, once yeah. in a while, right? Ty Ty Washington misses the three. Rebound to Harris. Trying to push it ahead. To oh, make tough. Not tough catch. Tough. Yeah. Too tough. Yeah, not a good look. Let's check in with Jamie. 
When Hubert Davis was being recruited to North Carolina, Dean Smith was in his home, but he wasn't convinced of Hubert's trajectory in college basketball, hadn't offered him a scholarship just yet. When Smith went to leave Davis's house, Hubert said to him, you don't know for sure if I'm going to be a good fit at Carolina if you don't give me an opportunity. Smith called him back a couple days later, gave him the scholarship, and the rest is history. He embodies North Carolina basketball, but now he wants to give opportunities the same way. Over 1,600 points for Coach Smith was... A second team all ACC performer as a senior, he averaged 21 points plus a game. I said, Who the heck was on the first team? And then Steve Kirshner, the sports information director at North Carolina, read off the first team, and it was a really good first team. But I take the second team that year, too. It was Leitner and Hill, and yeah, Leitner was on the first team. Hill and Hurley Hill was on the second. second. <laughs> and a foul underneath. You know, Hubert Davis played a long time in the NBA, too. There's a good look at he with Coach Smith. We I asked him, I asked him, you know, when you get ready for a game, there's next to Roy, and you said that six to eight inches in between those chairs. He said, yeah, it's a long move, though, when you move that six inches into that top chair. It was fun, interesting. We were talking about with both coaches about scouting for a game when it's not the opponent you were planning on playing. And, you know, these two teams weren't going to meet in this classic. It was going to be the other way around. And... Hubert Davis said, well, Coach Smith didn't do a lot of that. He said he came in and he'd write everybody, the starting five guys for the opponent on a board, and he put a star next to them if they were a good shooter. And you should watch out for him. And he put two stars next to the guy that can really score. <laughs> and he said that was our scouting report. Now I know why I didn't win. <laughs> you I didn't ran out that. of stars, right? <laughs> uh, just great affection. What a wonderful human being. Ooh, that little elbow there, I thought. Ooh. Wow. Jiboy putting it on in the second half offensively. Just to finish the thought, a nice penetration here. Again, an easy one. But Dean, just uh, his impact on the game, on the players that performed at Carolina, just extraordinary. Remember the day that he passed Adolph Rupp on the all-time list, and then you thought, nobody's going to catch Dean, and then Coach K came along, and now you're looking at that going, well, nobody's going to catch him. Uh, it's gonna be a, I don't know if guys can last that I was going to say, you'd have to be in it a long time. Shibwe, uh -oh. and offensive foul. Manning said he should have done that on the last call. You think he sold that one? I think he sold that one. I think the other one was legit. Let's see if this is a little flopper -oo. I don't think he extended the arm, but that was manic depression. Playing <laughs> uh, Oscar would lead you to that. <laughs> Davis, quick crossover in the paint, had to give it up. And great coverage. This defense has been suffocating. There's Pretty a good look down. I don't know how that ball even got there. Nice how, pass. How about that? Marco Dunn on the finish. On a beautiful dish by Davis. Top recruit for that nice miss. A little European cross step, and then Brooks is the guy that finishes it off. But they are quicker to the rim, aren't they? There's the anticipation, uh, rebounds, extraordinary effort. Your guy, huh? Big O. <laughs> and it might get the Oscar for that move. That's right. Uh, big fella just banging him big time. Let's take a look at our Jersey Mike's game summary. That is not pretty. One for ten from outside the arc for something that Carolina has been using so effectively so far this year. 80-52 Kentucky. Well, New Year's Eve, what are you doing, Rath? I got an idea for you. I'll CBS will get nine. you into the spirit of the Bulls season. Nothing says New Year's Eve like going to El Paso. Pac-12 against the ACC. Washington State taking on Miami. It's a Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. That's December 31st at noon Eastern right here on CBS. My friends in El Paso, we missed you last year. I'm coming, so get my room ready. I'll be there. I don't celebrate New Year's because I celebrate That's right. all year it, long. It's for amateurs, right? <laughs> That's We're right. professionals. Exactly. When you work at your trade, <laughs> things work out. Uh, I love the people in El Paso, so we'll see you guys uh, shortly. That's been historically a wonderful event, right? Uh, yeah. And over the years. Been with CBS for 50-some years. Yeah. 
Second oldest event CBS has other than the Masters. Uh, Hubert's going to have to get real solid guard play. I, I'm, I'm surprised. I thought they really had turned the corner a little bit. A little bit of a temporary setback. You know, they lost to Purdue and Tennessee, which, yeah. you know, a yeah. lot of people are going to lose to Purdue and Tennessee probably, but we didn't see this one coming. At least no. I did. No, I agree. And John Calipari said, you know, we need this. And when there was some discussion about who we're going to play, should we come out here with the COVID situation and all of that? And he said, you know, playing Carolina, it's good for us. We've got to figure out who we are, what we are, and coming off the loss to Notre Dame, they were looking forward to this, and they're playing like they're looking forward to it. He is tough. I love him in the lane. Why did Dustin Johnson, unassuming, birdie, bogey, just keep playing? <laughs> I think I start putting my money on Charlie Woods. I think that's what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. Boy, how close does it remind you of the dad? It's unbelievable. That swing. Just under seven to go, 82-54. Kentucky has Louisville coming up on, I think it's Wednesday. And then one more game before they hit the SEC slate. North Carolina actually has started their ACC play to beat Georgia Tech, so they're 1-0 in the conference. And beating Michigan before, I thought they were ready to go. Yeah, you know? yeah. So that, that's why this is surprising. Wholesale subs in here. Brooks up and under. Boy, attacking at will. Back to 30, and some good defense forces a timeout. With 6.33 to go, Kentucky on their way to their eighth win of the year. Let's take a look at our fast analysis presented by AT&T 5G. Uh, they've really been solid on the defensive end, very unselfish in Hilton, Florida. How about the Wizard at the rim? There's so many finesse shots to spin. <laughs> Severe Wheeler with 24 and six assists to go along with it. Both these teams came in averaging 80 points a game. Kentucky's already surpassed that, and obviously North Carolina was thinking that they would have more offense in this game than they have had. And they got McCoy on the floor. We need to expect big things from him as the year progresses. Kentucky, That's might, Kentucky might get to 100 if they keep yeah. playing like they're playing right now. Ooh. And a foul from behind on Brooks. North Carolina will drop to eight and three. Their schedule looks like this: App State on Tuesday, and then they hit the ACC. I know there's a lot of work ahead. I mean, there are signs. Not today, obviously. I think they weren't up to the test. They weren't as competitive. They weren't as quick to the ball. And it set the tone. Severe Wheeler early in the game getting right into he just, R.J. Davis. He just out-hustled everybody, and he frustrated Davis, not Hubert. Well, he's frustrating Hubert, too, but talking about R.J., as we said, he got into him defensively, and then he got in his head a little bit, and that took his game away. Although he does have nine points. Cal's got to feel really good about this team today. They, they have been solid and deep. Going to the bench. Well, he wants the jump shots now. That one's short. You got numbers if they hurry. Oh, and not a good one. Great play by Washington. Foul. Steal it, yeah. and then he's. They can do attention. It might be. A flagrant one. That's what Coach Calipari is saying. Justin McCoy is the guy with the picked up the foul. Uh, trying to stop the fast break, and then just a too lengthy a pass, and then the giveaway there. Another look as he wraps his arm around Washington's shoulder. A break call, common foul. How about Cal's got a statue at UMass now? Yeah. I wonder if he made a donation. <laughs> so Marcus Camby was there. Julius Irving was there. Yeah. Jackie Lehman was the old coach there. He's got one. They named the court after Cal. That's nice. I got a restroom on the turnpike. <laughs> <laughs> and your phone's probably there. <laughs> You have a propensity to lose your phone in weird spots. Isn't that the truth? 
Wheeler with another and drive to the basket. It shows he can really put his in that right side and go to the goal. Let's check in with Jamie. Well, one of the highest compliments Oscar Shibway probably could pay his current head coach is that he reminds him of his father. His father passed away tragically when Oscar was a teenager before he came to the States from Africa. He said, Coach Cal is the same as my dad, very expressive with his hands. He's very, he works with me. He's patient. He teaches me things slowly. English is Oscar's fifth language. So the fact that Cal has to work with him and improve his game that way, these two obviously have a close connection. Well, Cal's got his own language too and he's learned that one very well absolutely we're after and i are still working on one <laughs> that's great stuff jamie uh, he's been a welcome addition to this program they got long oh, hooks oh, that's that's cool. attending. you can see the hops though brooks as I mentioned earlier eighth double double of the season for oscar 16 and 12. it's an off day for him with only 12 rebounds he works so he really gets after it such a joy about him on the floor. We're getting some good minutes early, not points, but solid play. Wheeler kicks it back to Brooks in some traffic. Tough shot in and out. Carolina snatches down the rebound. Love on the drive. Had it knocked away. It'll still be Carolina ball. Wednesday on CBS, it's a star studded event paying tribute to America's best with special guests and musical performances from today's biggest names in entertainment. The Kennedy Center Honors. Wednesday, 9, 8 Central on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. And Kentucky plays high point at the end of this year. And they're going to honor Tubby Smith. Did you see that? Tubby's getting his jersey yeah. in the rafters. And why not? One of the great guys, a good, good friend right. of ours, great coach. Don't make him any better. I'm sure Cal may use some language that the dad didn't, though, getting back That's to That's right. Amy's That's coming. what I'm saying. That was a different language. Okay. okay. <laughs> They caught five out of seven from the free throw line. They get six out of eight for his 22 points. He came to play. He did. He rock solid. Came in averaging just over 14 a game and almost 10 rebounds. And today he has been the the brightest spot. I don't want to say the only bright spot, but the brightest one for the Tar Heels. Wheeler playing at the same speed with four minutes to go as he was in the first four minutes of the game. Here's Ware with a hook shot too strong. Baycott clears it. Yeah, nice duck in, come up empty. There's a one time Davis beat Wheeler to the rack and then Ware fouled him. With 354 remaining. Kentucky Wildcats playing the way that guy wants him to play today. 88-58. Thirty-point lead with 3:54 to go. Three-point shooting for Kentucky against Notre Dame was horrific, and Cal said to us, two out of 19." He said, "Guys, you don't have to make them all; just don't miss them all." Well, today they're a little bit better. Six out of 13 outside the arc, and he also told us. Jamie asked him, what, what's the vision of your team if it's the team you want? He said, we want to be very fast, very aggressive, flying on offense, flying on defense, multiple actions when we get in the offensive. It's like he told us everything and then told his team, and they said, we're going to go try to do that for you, coach, as a Christmas present. Now, can they do it the rest of the year? Yeah, that's a good after, question. Right? Yeah. But shot selection was uh, not ideal in Notre Dame. That's why your, your number goes down. Cal having a little dialogue with fans on that baseline. That's a luxury with a, a lead this big. Mm -hmm. 88-59. And just under four to go. Xavier Wheeler is one of those drives to the basket away from a career high. 
Nelson. I think he cares about that. Here's Grady with a little mid-range yeah, game. Nice. You run him off that line. You want to play, you got to deliver that. Little floater. Styles with a pull up and drew the foul. We were talking about threes earlier. When you possess that ability, again, they love that little post rub flare or curl. That time a curl and greedy. He started kind of slow, but he warmed up, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He paid attention. Dontrez Styles, the freshman, North Carolina native. That's his first point. Now, Kentucky, when they win this game, will be one victory away from their total of a year ago. That just doesn't Probably. happen to that guy in that program. They were 9 and 16 last year. That was astounding, really. Yeah, it was. It, right? All the times you've covered that team. And they lost to Duke in their opener. Then they ripped off seven wins in a row. Then lost to Notre Dame by four in a game that they did not play well. And John Calipari said, give all the credit to Notre Dame. They outplayed us. But today, <laughs> They came to play. And they took a lot of long threes early against Notre Dame. And they got away from lane touches. Because Mike Gray great at mixing up defenses, too. Yeah, for sure. One for 12 now from three-point land for North Carolina today. Brady very good without the ball, as all good shooters are. They had to get into a lane. Oh, how about that? Hopkins, huh? Hopkins buries one from outside the arc. That's only his fourth three of the year. And where Cleveland's off the glass. So Kentucky shooting 50% from outside the arc. It was a good dish underneath. They don't finish it, though. And now Wheeler might steal it himself, and he does. And one more dime. They're playing with so much energy from the beginning of the game all the way through. Having fun. Yeah, it's contagious. Jump. And now the Kentucky fans showing their appreciation in the final two minutes as blocking foul on Wheeler. Here's the little guy, first pesty. With the steal, oh, the dish. Oh, he sees, doesn't he? Great vision, unselfish heart. He gave you a big hello and smile. He must have said some nice things when he was at Georgia. I just told him he looks different in blue than he did in red. But he's never looked better than he's looked today. Now, Cal wanted this game, though. It was great the two coaches agreed. Absolutely. What would you say, about 11 or 12,000, maybe? It's a really good crowd. Kind of late arriving. I think they were in the casino or something, but... Uh... It's going to be win number 347 at Kentucky for Coach Calipari. The Hall of Famer. I feel like we're in Lexington right now. <laughs> Not too many places better than Rupp Arena to watch hoops, no. but T-Mobile here in Vegas is pretty good, too. First, when I was younger, I got to meet Adolf Rupp, believe it or not. Yes. Late in his career, and it was Joe B. Hall. Look at us. Oh, man. And then he, he glances over at Cal a little bit. Is that what you want, Coach? Yeah, you scored 2,000 points at Davidson. Can't you score at Kentucky? You guys showing him that he can't. Predicted Kentucky would get to 100 if they keep playing like this. Mr. Raffery. Yeah. Oh, not with a turnover. Nice luck. I also believe you told me if they got to 100 that the uh, tab tonight is on you. <laughs> well, why not? It is every night. <laughs> uh, 
for the impressive. Substitutions not coming in for Kentucky. He's, and Severe Wheeler says, I want to stay, coach. I don't think he's going to let him. No. Deserves nope. a round of applause, that kid. Well, maybe there'll be another night for a career high. It isn't today, but it's only one shy. <laughs> Boy, he played great. And the assists. Early, yeah. he didn't have many. Now, past his seven average a game. Kentucky a chance to hit the century mark this trip down. The final 40 seconds. And the fans want it too. <laughs> They're holding their breath on every shot. Kentucky fans aren't leaving. They, they wait to the very end. As the staff is back together, it's it off air to one other. Lander and Tico over there. Bruiser, Bruiser Flint. Flint. John Lucas joining the group. Starters all standing up too. They want some of these other guys to get an opportunity to not only score some points here in the waning moments, but also maybe hit that hundred mark. We all know how important basketball is in Kentucky. Absolutely. And these players are acting like that today. Yeah, they are. They Relishing are. the opportunity to improve, get better. They're getting. I think Cows have them hold it. Oh, they're going to play. Yeah, nice job by Carolina. Almost came up with a steal. Ooh. That pass had a little too much zip on it, right to somebody sitting over there in the good seats. <laughs> somebody just yelled, keep your eyes open in the front row. <laughs> I guess when you got something coming at you like that. And knowing the competitor that Hubert Davis is. Now this one stings and I think it'll help him during the rest of the season yeah. really get their heads back together, get them organized. They had started to play really good defense. They're not giving up on it, are they? 11 seconds. And Carolina with the steal. Done with the flush on the other end. Barring a long shot here, and there won't be one. They'll dribble it out. It'll be a field goal shy of 100, but a huge win for Kentucky. And North Carolina's got some work to do. Absolutely. They're better than this. This didn't come and bring it from the get-go. Yep. 98 to 69. And Kentucky goes to 8-2. and two. On uh, the season, <laughs> Oscar Shibway in any language, it's uh, a big win and smiles all around. And Sabir Wheeler, unbelievable game for him. Oh, look at this. Time to dance. <laughs> He's got the moves. He showed them in this game early before foul trouble. And then in the second half, his offense came to life. And that guy's offense was alive the entire game and finished one point shy of his career high that he set as a Georgia Bulldog. The Wildcats will go to four and four in the CBS Sports Classic, and they'll go to three and one against North Carolina. And let's go to Jamie. Coach, 48 hours ago, you didn't know you were going to play North Carolina, but you wanted to because you wanted to figure your team out. What did you learn about your group today? Well, the biggest, the biggest thing I've talked to our team about was Severe had to lead us. Forget about how you're playing. Lead us. If you're playing great, that's fine, but lead us. You're playing poorly. You're playing like you're confused against Notre Dame. Still lead us. Um, you know, the best news we got, we could play without Oscar. Like, without him, we were able to hold our own. I thought Lance was terrific. Um, you know, Kellen made shots. You have to understand now, we've been like two for 70 from the three-point line the last couple games, and we're a good three-point shooting team. And I tell them, you don't have to make them all. You just can't miss them all. You gotta make one or two. That's how so you win today, games. Yeah, well, that's how you create a gap anyway. All right, Coach, thank you. Merry Thanks. Christmas. It'll be an early Christmas present for the Kentucky fans. An easy win today, 98-69. Merry Christmas to you too, partner. You too. He's, he's rough with numbers, though, isn't he? Rough with numbers. It's a very Christmas, Mike. Great to be with you.
And final score, 98-69. For Bill Raftery, Jamie Erdahl, our entire CBS crew, Brad Nessler saying so long from Las Vegas. We'll send you back to Zook and company in our New York studio for Inside College Basketball presented by Progressive Insurance. That's coming up right after these messages. And Merry Christmas to all out there. Kentucky, big win.